Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Delexian, and today I'm going to be maybe, possibly, probably um, playing through Pokemon Uranium. My uh, first time playing Uranium through. I have a save already, but that was just me checking out the game, making sure it actually works. Um, I didn't get any further than picking my starter, so I'm going to reset, pick starter, and then we'll get right into it. Also, the intro screen is freaking awesome. Go ahead and hit that space bar. I think it's all, yeah, it's all keyboard controlled. Delete this save. Yes. Uh, yeah. All right, new game. Um, all right, there's a uh, custom modes. I might make a mode for it later. It's a. Uh, like all the mons that spawn are shiny and the rare ones are the uh, normal. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Bombo. <laughs> Walking Bombo. Uh, but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. Fair enough. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great. Want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? I think I know how the game works. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People and Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others help us with work, and still others are used in battle by trainers such as yourself. Just start me off right away as a trainer. Hell yeah. But there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, and each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. We all know these things. Uh, but why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? Ah, uh, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. Report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now if you'd just fill out this form here, it's gonna have me give my name. This one. Yes. Can I just type it? Uh. Yate. Yes. I am ready. Your journey, your story is about to unfold. Hmm, well. Future is a blank slate, blah blah blah. Together with your Pokemon, you are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Tally ho! Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. I wasn't reading any of that, and I apologize. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. That's fun. Though they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend time at home with young Delexian. Yes. The Tando region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until... Dot, dot, dot. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where, Lu where Lucille worked. As part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. Everybody has finished their work. We'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. Temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer or reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat can't be the, th the thermometer I just checked that so
There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, in just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Sail. All right. I'm probably going to forget to read some of the dialogue here and there, so I apologize in advance. Oh. With Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed, except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. Makes sense. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed, he became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So, young Dilexian was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. I'm going to assume this is where my story begins. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bombo, the local Pokemon professor, professor, was looking for a research assistant. I can't speak English, apparently. Two kids from Mokia Town applied, Dilexian and their childhood friend, Theo. Oh, so my rival's name is Theo. Okay. It was common for use of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so, Dilexian's journey began. It'd be cool to have a mainline Pokemon game give this much story. Come downstairs, you're late. Am I late? Or are you early? What am I wanted for? Bitch. I'm not going to read all the dialogue. It was just like the intro stuff that I think I'm going to read. Um. Yes, following in footsteps and all that, yes. Running shoes. I need this. To run, hold Z. Got it. Toggle auto run in the menu. Wait. No. Animations in this are actually really good. I suppose that's Nan's room. Alright. This doesn't run half bad. Before I was having some problems with screen tearing, but I guess I've fixed it. Oh, sweet, a rare candy. I think I'd like a burby. <laughs> it's a burb. That's great. Flying type, so it's strong against bugs. Kabug. In the house on the cliff, wonder why you lose in Moki Town of all places. That's the way to the next area. I don't imagine I'm supposed to be in here. Oh, wait. Never mind, I apparently found the right house right away. Okay, so that's my rival's dad, I guess. Who do you be? Oh. Huh. 
interesting choice of music. Try to keep up. Proceeds to run ahead of me. Is this it? I'm gonna sing. That's cool. Fire type kind of looks like a darker, like a dark type Charmander. You guys have enough time to read this before I skip them. Test? I didn't study for any test. Thought you were going to give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. It's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you'll be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. A starter Pokemon? Ah. will be your lifelong partner. So it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, I'm tired of the talking to you. Let's do the thing. Yes. Okay, find a Pokemon in the wild first. And what am I doing? Uh... Now it's time to analyze your final results. I finished my analysis. I should be able to pick mine, right? Alexian, you seem to be a trainer who won't hesitate to go for what you want. You prefer to overwhelm your opponents with sheer force and firepower. The saying, the best defense is a good offense, is probably your mantra. Yeah. You have a burning spirit within you that never ceases for an offensive trainer like you. Looks like I'm getting Raptorch. Which is the one I wanted. Game freeze? There we go. Um, I won't name it just yet. Why don't you give him the shit one? Like a grass type one? Like a grass type. A really well designed rival. Oh, I know Ember right away. Okay. Oh, it must be Grass-type. That fucker just died immediately.
I got $350 for winning that. I didn't even need healed. It didn't take any damage. I gotta go talk to Theo's dad. I think. I just have to find them at the very least. I think it was here? No. Next one down. Okay, pod. What's that? Apologies for the non non speaking for like the last however long. Uh, it's a high tech device that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. It it plays music and includes a map of the region. Most importantly, it contains a phone that will allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool. I got the red one. All right. Wow, just bringing up my missing mom like that? Fuck. Next route is this way, yeah. Uh -huh. Oh look, it's a Pokemon.
Yes, this is definitely how you catch Pokemon. Oh, Pokedexes. Sweet. I got a bunch of balls. Kevlar Town on the other side of Route 1. Chin Monk. I'm pretty sure this is a new mon as well, which is kind of cool. We'll scratch it. I critted it? Damn. Ouch. F. I have Flame Body? That's fucked up. Alright, I'm just gonna hope I don't one shot it. Should burn a little. Yeah. Oh, wait. No. Uh. Controllers are gonna take some getting used to. Oops. That's so loud. Oh dear god. Whew, that was fucking loud. Normal type. Okay. So it's a really loud squirrel. No, I don't want to name it. I leveled up. I'll just murder this one. Fine. How do you know my name? That makes a really cool noise, too. Lap Torch, level 7. Apologies if you can hear my dog barking. He's going batshit crazy right now. Alright, I'm just gonna... Hook.
Okay. Oh, I can catch one now. Cool. I hope I don't one-shot it, because it's only level 3. Ah, it killed me now. Sweet. Since one HP, I should run. Um, shit. Fuck. This isn't what I wanted. Go away. This thing has run away. Fuck, I can't do this battle though. So I don't know what they want me to do. That thing is ridiculous. Yeah, I can try, fuck. Didn't do shit, yeah. Rip. One HP, what did they want me to do? Yeah, 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 shut up. Fuck off. I don't want to battle any Pokemon. catch one if I don't kill it. Alright, let's see. It should just catch it. Cool. I hate how loud that is. Kevlar Town. All right. What is here? You look like you're important. Oh my god. I hate that. Oh, here's a Pokemart. Holy fuck, I'm rich. <sighs> Shit. What do we do? Ice heal. Oh, that's cool. I'm going to grab that because I think I'll need it at some point. Yeah. No, I want like five. Now as many balls as I can get.
Cool, Poke Center. Needed that. Yes, I would like to rest my Pokemon. There's a cave on the way to Now Talk City that's infested with strong Pokemon. Be careful. Cool. Say, trainer, what star did you pick? I uh, got the Rat Torch. Ember rips through steel and bug types, but water type moves hit its weak point for massive damage. Yeah, I know this. You important? Network is up here? How does that work? I guess that's what this is. Talk to you. Welcome to Tandor Network. Online lobby, virtual training, GTS, and wonder trading. Oh, that's cool. All right. Um, not right now, but I will use that at some point. No, I don't want to talk to you. Exit. Cool. All right. Anything important over here? No. What the hell is this? Berry shop. Oh, you can sell berries. Or buy berries, I guess. A Baku berry. I'm just getting a bunch of free berries. You can stop. Thank you. <laughs> Who are you? That's not how that works, homie. <laughs> if only. Oh, route two. There we go. Finally got a Pokemon to spawn. Oh, outed. Cool. Alright. Go, Rat Torch. Bite. Rawr. I'm just gonna scratch it. And then I'm gonna catch it. That's not what I wanted. I wonder if this game has a shiny charm. I would imagine it does. Ow. Damn, that's loud. The Observer Pokemon. Oten are mainly seen at night when they are looking for berries and other individuals of its species. They are known for their lovely singing voice. That's adorable. No. Mankey's a fighting type. I'll use Ember and see if I can just catch it after. Uh, like Wild Mankey. Because uh, I really do want a Mankey. Or a fighting type in general. Ouch. Alright. Uh, this. Come hither, monkey. Oh, wow. Shit. I want it to get hit with flame body so that I don't have to, like, if I hit it at all, it's gonna die. So I'm gonna, it's gonna faint. Sorry, Pokemon purist out here trying to tell me how to say things. Uh, come on, get in the ball, stay in the ball, please. I need you. Yes, 
Sweet. Ow! Jesus! Okay, they need to fix that. That is really loud. Pig monkey Pokemon. It's just the pig monkey. Alright, I'm gonna run back to the Poke Center and heal this Malfaka. Yeah. Thanks. Okay, you're standing here for a reason. What are you here for? Oh, that's not what I wanted. No, go away. No, let me leave. Okay, I understand. Let me leave. Let me leave, please. <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut this out. All right, there we go. All right, let's carry on to the next uh, area. Yep, figured he'd want to battle. There's an Outen nest in the area, huh? A burby. So adorable. At least I'm fast. Like, this thing is really fast. Level 8. Jin Monk. Um, yes, I will, because I know it's a normal type. And I have Mankey. Mankey gonna fuck him up. Youngster Timothy. Alright. Low kick. Shit. Why does this thing have to be slower? You have to faint. dead. Alright, I'm gonna save the game, and I'm gonna actually, nah, yeah, we'll keep going. <laughs> I'm gonna save the game as soon as we get to the first gym, or whatever it would be. Uh, oh, I turned on auto run. That's not what I want. Oh, shit. No, probably not. Thank you. That's a mistake. Die, bitch. Sorry, he's sending out a what? Brule. I'm just gonna hope it's part steel. Ha, get burnt, bitch. I made a really weird noise. Looks like you're a tough old ride. Okay. Weird. A potion. Sweet. Potion seller. Okay, I guess I just can't go through here this just yet. So I will go the slow way. Okay, there's an item over here. Escape rope. Alright, <laughs> I would hope they'd put one in here. Oops, not what I wanted. Oh, it's a fight. Whoa, that's cool. Grozard. 
that's horrible sounding, but I want one. Come here, please. Ember. Oh, I almost murked it. Uh, yeah, well, I'm gonna assume it's like part steel then if I almost killed it in one go, or it's just really weak. Doesn't, didn't tell me if it was super effective or not though. Sweet. All right. No, it's just ground, wow. Serpent Pokemon. Its snake-like body is almost always partially underground. The tunnels they dig can serve as pitfalls for the unwary traveler. Whoa! Tonami? That's really weird, but I might... Uh, yeah, I'll catch it. Oh, it's a poison. That's cool. Ah, oh, damn it. I didn't want it to die. Oh well. I'm gonna have to fix my rap torch now. Use. On Dat Boy. Save the game one more time, just to make sure. Oh, it's one of those. I'll catch it just because it's for the decks, but I really don't want to use it. You know what? I can just come back here later. It's sturdy. Oh, so it has one HP. Ouch. And then Flame Body's just gonna kill it now, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's great. Only the manliest man can pass it. So what he's trying to say is, you shall not pass. All right, Barul. 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 Barel. Die. Oh. Pardon? Oh no. <laughs> Please die. Good. I like I was just like, mm -mm. Alright. Grab Torch hit level 10. Alright. Barul. Another one. Yeah, I'll switch. Um, I just want this thing to level up, so I'll bring it out. Oh, it's 1 HP. That's not fun. Pokemon. Now I'll switch to... I'll just switch back to Raptorch. At least it'll get XP. <laughs> Makes a really good noise. Oops. I want to get an XP share as soon as possible. Which might take some googling, so it won't be entirely blind, but um, I would just like to know where it comes from. There's water here? I wonder what you could fish out of that. Okay, depending on what this is, I'll run. Okay, I need this one for the decks, so screw it. I was hoping Flame Body would trigger on that. I'm just gonna ball it and see what happens. Cool. Oh, I didn't read that one. Oh well. What is 
that? That's weird. No, go away. Oh, you know, I need to catch one of these, don't I? Alright, if I don't kill it. I mean, it's very close. Incredibly dense metals make up Barul's body. They are much heavier than they look. They live in dark caves and feed on rocks and metal ore. It's the Iron Sphere Pokemon. I didn't want to do that. Okay, maybe I do, because that's a Dunsparce. And I, I mean, if I don't kill it in one shot, Actually, I should heal. Medicine. Potion. Use. The one that I have out. That one. Defense curl. Okay. I know you're a bug type, but I didn't figure it would die immediately. I'm just gonna try and catch it. One, two, three, yeet. Land Snake Pokemon. Its drill tipped tail is used to burrow into the ground backwards. This Pokemon is known to make its nest in complex shapes deep under the ground. This thing's a snake? Well, it's a snake? I thought it was a bug. It's got wings. That's weird. No. Cool. Poison's gone. I'm gonna run from this fight. Considering there's one HP. Yeah, run. Cool. I'm gonna save. Oop, that's not what I wanted. Yes, I wanna override it. Sweet. I needed that. Oh, there's more rooms. Shit. I have one of you already. I'm not even gonna kill it. I just wanna. All right, you know what, guys? I think I'm gonna cut the video here, just because it's getting real long. I feel like it's gonna take a little longer to get to the first gym. So for now, I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. I'll probably do these like every day, or as as close to every day as I can get, anyway. But uh, yeah, for now, bye bye.